I love diamonds, but I feel like I can never mine them fast enough. And that's why in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys the fastest ways to mine diamonds in Minecraft. We all know the regular method of trying to find diamonds, which involves strip mining, and sometimes it works and you can actually find diamonds. And sometimes you strip mine for literally hours and end up with no diamonds. Has this ever happened to you guys? Cause I know it's happened to me a ton. Other times you get really lucky and spot diamonds in a cave right before your very eyes, but that doesn't happen very often either. And sometimes you die in lava with the diamonds you just recently mined and you lose everything. We're not heathens anymore, guys. We don't have to use a diamond pickaxe and go mine caves for hours. That's why we're gonna be using the diamond metal detector, which I'm holding in my hand right now to find diamonds. You could probably get this bad boy on the Minecraft eBay for a few thousand dollars, but it's the latest and greatest piece of technology to find diamonds in Minecraft. What you gotta do is just walk above the surface until you see a particle effect and text pop up. Once you've found that, start digging straight down and boom sauce, you have diamonds. Now, this is not even the fastest way I'm gonna be showing you guys on how to find diamonds in Minecraft, but it is pretty fast if you think about it and it finds you a lot of diamonds. So while I'm mining all these diamonds, I need you guys to do me a favor. Take your phone, flip it, Click that subscribe button, make it gray, okay? I don't wanna see any red. It must be gray and enable those notifications. Ah, thank you guys so much for doing that. This mining method involves a very hungry little fellow creature. His name is the Diamond Hunter, and yes, he is absolutely the cutest thing ever, but he's feisty. If you open the door, he will literally try to run out and go mine diamonds. It's not time to mine diamonds, okay? Not until I say so. Uh, oh, oh, he just... He just left. A, a diving hunting pet. Do not leave without me. Okay, 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 he's just going. He He's already looking for diamonds without me. This guy is a machine. He's so fast, we've almost lost him. Oh, wait, I see the name Dag. It's down here to the left. Listen, diamond hunter pet, you gotta calm down, okay? Your master has any... Oh, he already found... Di he already found diamonds? No way. Look at him go, dude. So he literally will just continue to go and find diamonds as fast as he wants. Has he found more diamonds? No. No, let me help him out. I'm gonna help him out here. I got I got you. I'm, I got your back, homie. Here, I can help you find these diamonds. In my opinion, this is one of my favorite ways to find diamonds because you don't even have to mine the diamonds if you don't want to. You literally can let your diamond hunting pet do all the work for you while you relax and reap the benefits of millions of diamonds in Minecraft. I mean, this guy loves mining diamonds. I, I mean, he could literally go at it all day. He don't need no help. He doesn't even have to be paid. And all you have to feed him is rotten flesh. It's so easy. And I don't know if you guys noticed, but whenever he mines the diamonds, he instantaneously gives them to me. So we almost have half a stack of diamonds literally by doing nothing. We're just doing nothing and we're getting diamonds insanely fast. The diamond under pet is really cool, but the unfortunate thing is only one of them exists in the world, which means you can have only one diamond hunter pet going at a single time. So it's not the fastest way to mine diamonds, but it's still pretty fast. I'm gonna need everybody to hold on to your pants for this next way to find diamonds because it is as epic as a stick that floats in the middle of the air. And I'm not even kidding, it's like a magic trick. This piece of diamond mining technology actually cost me a lot of money. No, not this piece of technology. I'm talking about this piece down here. This is the Diamond Miner 10,000. You just gotta right click to get it. <laughs> It takes a little bit of getting used to, but you gotta right click it, and once you're inside, it just starts drilling. Oh, look at this, guys. Oh my gosh, we've already gone down to bedrock. Oh, this is amazing. Oh, look how fast we're mining, guys. And as you can see, the ores are immediately just being collected in my inventory without doing anything. You could even mine gravel if you wanted to. This is insane. This is actually the fastest way ever in Minecraft to find diamonds. But there are some diamonds up here, which I'm trying to get to. If you hold the space bar, you can actually drill upwards. Oh yeah, look at that. Already a stack of diamonds. Hold on, let's see if we can get nine stacks of diamonds, guys. We're almost there. Oh, I see some more diamonds over here. Okay, we actually have a lot of diamonds above. We need these diamonds. I need these diamonds. There we go. Oh wait, there's some more diamonds over here. <laughs> Dude, we're drilling literally everything it's so difficult. Come here, diamonds. Diamonds, come here. Come, come, yes, come here. Come to Papa. 
There we go. Oh, I see more diamonds over there. There are literally diamonds everywhere in this cave system. Here we go. Even more diamonds. I see some diamonds over here, too. There it is. Listen, everybody watching right now, I need y'all to do me a favor. Hit that like button if you think this needs to be added to Minecraft ASAP. If they added some kind of drill or machinery that you could drive and operate like this, I would be the happiest person in the entire world. I mean, look at this. I'm literally just drilling and mining for diamonds without even doing anything. And the best part about this bad boy is it's solar powered, which means I don't even have to give it gas. I just gotta leave it in the Minecraft sun for a little bit, it charges up, and then it finds me diamonds. Pretty much the only way this would get any better is if the drill managed to operate by itself, kind of like our Diamond Hunter pet. Our Diamond Hunter pet did a really good job, but he's a little bit slow. This thing literally cost a fortune. I had to strip mine for an entire inventory of 36 stacks of diamonds to buy this thing. It's definitely one of the fastest methods, but by far the most expensive. I don't think it gets any better than this, okay? Don't get me wrong, I love the diamond drill, but this next one's even faster when you're trying to find diamonds and scoop them up. You wanna place down your mining crew. Once you've got your mining crews placed down, they literally just mine everywhere. Notice how the miners are zombies? Yes, I have tamed them, and they are my friends. And then you reap the benefits, what we were just talking about, where the diamonds immediately appear in your inventory and you don't gotta do a single thing. In fact, you can actually place more mining crews down. You just have to do it in a different chunk. So I, I'm, I'm, I, I'm getting buried. Um, okay, guys, you're mining so fast that I feel like I'm about to get sent down into lava. Can you guys calm down? See, this is the problem with the mining crew. Once you get them started, they don't stop. Guys, I need to get out of here. There's gotta be a way. <laughs> don't ask me how I got out of there. I want to place down more mining crews in different areas. Let's see if we can get all of these placed down. We've got another mining pit over here. We're going to place down another mining crew. The thing is, the mining crews work so fast, they're literally trying to bury me. Oh, we've got another pit over here. Perfect. No, mining crew. No, no, no. Mining crew. <laughs> mining crew. Don't do this. Don't do this. Okay, let me go back up here. Um, my Minecraft is actually lagging because of the mining crews that are going on right now. But look at this. We have like... We have five stacks of coal, we have four stacks of diamonds, six stacks of iron ore, and the mining crews are still going ham. Oh my gosh, dude, look at this. This is insane. How did you guys miss the diamonds over there though? This is the problem with the mining crew. They're a little bit brain dead, so they only mine in one chunk by one chunk. Uh, looks like the zombie mining crew has finished and they're taking a lunch break. Meanwhile, the regular mining crew who are not undead are not taking a break. Zombies, you guys better get back to work. You guys are undead. You have all the energy in the world. Meanwhile, the humans are working their booties off. Oh! One of the downsides of the mining crew is not only the fact that I fell to my death, but whenever they finish mining in a chunk straight down, they just stop and they don't continue mining. So you can kind of only use them once and they are also very expensive. Okay, let's just move on to the next way to find diamonds. Now imagine if there were x-ray goggles that you could put on and you could see every ore beneath the ground, AKA the fastest way to find diamonds. They actually exist. I've got a pair of them in my hand right now as we speak. Once we put these on, you're going to be able to see a whole different world within Minecraft. Are you ready? Done! And... Oh my gosh! They work! They work, guys! Look at this! We literally can see every ore... Because you are so beautiful, we are doing 20% off the entire website. If you want to get the 20% off, use this code, tag us on social, stay beautiful, and we'll see you all next time. Under, oh my gosh, okay, this is kind of a problem because I can't see the grass, but we do have our drill, which we had earlier. This is so dope, dude. We're going to be able to find literally all of the diamonds on this Minecraft world seed. I mean, look at this. 
<laughs> I can't even see the grass or anything else that we're mining. I, I basically am only targeting these giant clusters of diamonds. I'm pretty sure this is illegal in some countries because I'm finding diamonds so fast. The first way to find diamonds, ladies and gentlemen, is using magic clay. This might look like normal clay, but you'll notice the clay will change colors as you start to get closer and closer to diamonds. And not only does it do that, but it will start making a sound. Oh, yep, there it is. When you are extremely close to diamonds, and once you mine all of these delicious diamonds with hopefully what is a Fortune 3 pickaxe, the magic clay will then change colors yet again to let you know that you are either getting closer or further away. If you see it going back to a red color, that means we are getting further away from diamonds. But if it starts to get more and more green, that's how you know we are very, very close to diamonds that are nearby. You guys hear that? Oh, there are definitely some diamonds nearby. Hold on, where are these diamonds at? I hear them. Oh my gosh, these diamonds? <laughs> these diamonds are so, there they are, ladies and gentlemen. How cool is this? Minecraft needs to add some magic clay. I don't know about you guys or gals watching this YouTube video, but I tend to struggle with finding diamonds occasionally, and this would help me out so much. Oh, but wait, there's more. Make sure you guys have your volume turned up, otherwise you will not be able to hear the diamonds. Oh my gosh, they are so, <laughs> these are so close. Where are you, diamonds? I can sense you nearby. Oh, oh my gosh, we are like right next to them. Where are these diamonds? And just like that, ladies and gentlemen, we have found even more diamonds. Make sure you guys leave a like down below if you wanna see more of these incredible ways to find diamonds inside of Minecraft. In like two minutes, we almost have an entire stack of diamonds just by using magic clay. And this is one of the slowest ways to find diamonds. The other six ways I have are even faster. Today in Preston's laboratory, we are going to be showing you guys how to find diamonds using acid rain. I know it sounds dangerous and it is, so you need to be very careful if you are going to try to attempt this yourself. You need a cloud tank and then you need a cloud maker core. Then you combine these to get an incomplete cloud maker. Once you have that, put it back in the crafting, then you uh, combine it with the cloud tunnel to get the fully completed cloud maker. Remember, this is very dangerous. We're going to now place this down, and if we click it a few times, you guys will see a bunch of clouds come out of it. Now we're gonna throw some splash potions at it. Come on, splash potions. Oh my gosh. So now we're gonna throw splash potions at the clouds, and you guys will notice acid rain is falling down. Now the cool thing about this is it doesn't break valuable ores. What it does instead is it creates a magnet-like effect that literally just consumes the diamonds to me. I don't know if you guys are seeing this right now, but we've got all almost three stacks of diamonds, and it's only been like one minute. Oh my gosh, I'm also impacted by the uh, the poisonous effects. That's why you have to stay very safe. I have this very beautiful structure here where I am not going to be taking any more damage, hopefully. Look at this. Oh my gosh. Wait, oh, we missed a cloud. Hold on. One more cloud right there. Oh my goodness gracious. Look at this, guys. Oh my gosh, there's so many diamonds in this ravine. Look at that. This cloud is drip, drop, dripping. Oh no, the sheep. Oh no. Oh no, okay, there was not supposed to be any harmed Minecraft wildlife in the making of this episode, but we have already failed that, and now I feel bad. How many diamonds are we gonna get? I did not expect us to get nearly a full inventory of diamonds. I, I think this is working out way better than I had planned it. Here I was thinking the magic clay was overpowered, but no, I think the poison clouds are definitely the most overpowered and fastest way so far to get diamonds inside of Minecraft. Are we just gonna, we're just gonna get a full inventory. I mean, why not? Oh my, look at this. The clouds have now dug all the way down to bedrock level. We're almost at a full inventory of diamonds. If these ways to mine diamonds have impressed you, do me a favor, take the advice you're watching this video on, turn it like this, make that red subscribe button gray, enable those bell notifications so you never miss out on a video. Plus it helps me a lot and let's move on to the third way. I am a huge fan of Flash and Sonic the Hedgehog, so for this way to find diamonds incredibly fast, we've got a lightning bolt, which I have harvested and captured. Then we've got diamond boots, and when you craft them together, you get Sonic boots. Not only are these boots extremely fashionable, but when you put them on, you run extremely fast, and every single block in front of you breaks. So literally, we <laughs> oh my gosh, I forgot how overpowered these boots were. I think we just ran right past a mineshaft. I don't even know. Wait, did we just jump over a ravine? Oh my gosh, 
We are in a ravine right now, and I can barely tell what is going on. With great power, ladies and gentlemen, comes with great responsibility, so exercise caution. We're gonna charge the boots up again. Yep. Oh, okay. How many diamonds can we get using the sonic boots? Uh, I don't know if you guys can tell what's going on because I have no idea what is happening right now. We've already managed to get two full stacks of diamonds, and I'm literally, like, I don't even have to use my mouse. I am just holding my keyboard down, running through walls, collecting diamonds. We've, oh my gosh, we have a full hot bar now of diamonds. This is insane. Just look at this. This is crazy. I'm getting dizzy. Okay, I need to stop, ladies and gentlemen. I feel like I'm making everybody who's watching this video motion sick, and I don't want to do that. We did not actually manage to get as many diamonds as we did with the poison clouds, but we didn't run for, like, nearly as long. We could keep going and probably get more diamonds even faster, but it's just, like, it's hard to run that fast over and over again. You can try to maintain a slower speed, but the boots just go so fast. They basically control themselves. I forgot to mention these boots cannot break bedrock that is the only block i believe in minecraft they can't break but they can break obsidian and everything else and you can even jump on oh look at that one free diamond for preston actually two free diamonds no wait three free diamonds oh hold on fourth free diamond no wait fifth free diamond hey that was a pretty good vein of diamonds I don't know if you guys are ready for this way to mine diamonds. What is in my hand is a diamond zombie egg. When you place down the diamond zombie egg, every single block he touches will turn to diamonds. And they break after a short period of time, and then they will be automatically collected and harvested straight to your inventory. Now, the bad thing about this is it's not a fully automated method. That is going to be coming later in the video, and sometimes they get a little bit glitched, and they don't know what to do with their life, but you can place down multiples of these diamond zombies and they will just continue to scoop up a plethora of diamonds. In fact, we've got almost two full spawn eggs over here, guys. I am just going to place down as many diamond zombies as we can. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, oh, they are going to ruin this village. Village, I apologize in the future, but on the plus side, I am going to make a lot of money so I can easily pay you guys back. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. Guys, this is the most diamonds we have collected in this episode by far. Holy guacamole. What is happening right now, ladies and gentlemen? Look at this. Look at the diamonds. They look like they're about to attack me. Diamonds, please don't hurt me. Hold on, I'm just gonna stand still. Let's see how many diamonds we are about to absorb. My inventory is going up and up and up, and it is not stopping anytime soon. Let's place more down. I mean, why not? I did forget to mention these spawn eggs, each one of them cost a thousand diamonds. They are not cheap to purchase, but if you do manage to get a lot of diamonds, I think they are a very, very good investment. I mean, just look at this. Wait, I can't, I literally can't even hold any more diamonds. Hold on. I'm going to throw some diamonds on the ground just to see how many diamonds we're going to get. Oh my gosh. I almost can't even throw out the diamonds we have quick enough before the new diamonds are absorbed. Also, the zombies do make a mess of the terrain nearby because anything they walk on turns into diamonds and then the diamonds explode. So they don't necessarily make your landscaping look very pretty. I would recommend using these very far away from your house, anything that you have precious you've built. Um, and definitely do not use this on an SMP server with your friends. They will get very, very upset. I tested it once on my wife, Brianna, and she was not a happy camper. So I'm pretty sure you guys know what this is. That's right, it's a diamond vacuum. And as you can see, we've got a lot of diamonds in the area of the vicinity, which means this bad boy is about to go to town. Oh, I turned it on. Oh, there it goes. Now, the one downside to the vacuum cleaner is that it will run out of batteries. Although, it is kind of like a Roomba. If you guys have seen those things that go around your house and, like, basically vacuum for you, uh, it just keeps going. Oh, okay. And if we right-click it... Oh, no, guys. I messed up the settings. The vacuum cleaner is absorbing diamonds, but I feel like it's 
also absorbing stone blocks, and it looks like also some diorite blocks. That was not supposed to happen. I might have messed up a few of the automated settings on it. How far will this thing go? I thought it ran out of batteries after like 30 seconds, but no, this thing is still going. Holy guacamole, what are you gonna stop? This thing is a big puff, ladies and gentlemen. It doesn't look like it's stopping anytime soon. Speaking of stopping anytime soon, if you guys get to one of my brand new videos in the first hour, I will read your comments and feature them down below. So make sure you guys comment within the first 60 minutes of a brand new episode being posted if you want to have your comments featured. Oh no, our vacuum cleaner is on fire. Wait a second, that might drain the batteries even faster. Oh no, wait, hold on. I forgot this vacuum cleaner is fireproof. I had it inspected by a professional firefighter marshal just in case. Because as you know, caves inside of Minecraft have a lot of unexpected things. Lava, skeletons, creepers, a bunch of nonsense you don't want your vacuum cleaner to unintentionally suck up. If this vacuum cleaner accidentally vacuumed lava or creepers, I have a feeling it would probably explode from the inside out and that would be terrible. Okay, vacuum, vacuum cleaner, that's enough. Even though we picked up the vacuum cleaner, it is still absorbing everything. And maybe I got Energizer batteries in this bad boy. I don't know what's going on. Check this out, guys. Oh my goodness. We currently have six bags of diamonds, stone, iron ore, diorite. Like, this is actually really convenient for making stone because you don't have to smelt it afterwards or put it into a grindstone. And look, it's still going. Look how fast it fills up one full double chest worth of inventory items. I promise you guys, eventually it does run out of batteries. I don't know how much longer it's going to take, so we're gonna move on to the next way to mine diamonds. Using fireworks and diamonds, I have found a way to make storm rockets. And what this does is you just throw these bad boys into the sky and walk Watch what happens. It goes from a calm, sunny day into a giant lightning storm mess. Notice how all the valuable diamonds are not being destroyed or damaged by the lightning. Okay, yo, yo, chill out, lightning. Lightning, calm down. <laughs> Guys, I might die here. No, 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 lightning, stop. Lightning, I need you to calm down. Lightning, lightning, relax, lightning. <laughs> I think I spawned too many of these rockets and I can barely hear you guys because of the lightning going down. Okay, now that my ears are no longer bleeding, look at the diamonds that are left from the remnants of the lightning storm. So many diamonds. You can literally just jump down there with your pick. Start scooping them up. Look at this. Scoop, 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 scoop. Easy peasy diamond money, ladies and gentlemen. And you can spawn multiples at one time. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take these rockets. I'm gonna put one down right over here. I'm gonna put another one down right over here. And another one down. You know what? We're just gonna place these down very fast. Let's go into fly mode and see what happens if we just spawn a ton of these guys. Yeah, boy! Oh no, we might actually break Minecraft, ladies and gentlemen. I can't promise Minecraft is not about to break. I am placing down far too many rockets. Okay, I'm turning my sounds down. Oh my goodness! Have you ever seen this much lightning in Minecraft? I have never seen something anywhere close to this, our Minecraft might break. I, I can barely see anything. I feel like I'm moving in slow motion right now. <laughs> what is happening? Oh my goodness gracious. And just look at the diamonds that have been left by the storms that we placed throughout this map. There is literally enough diamonds to end world hunger. If you scooped up all these diamonds, you would have enough cooked beef for everybody on your Minecraft server, ladies and gentlemen. Look at this. I'm just flying over what looks like to be thousands upon thousands upon thousands of diamonds remaining. But of course, the real problem with this method to get diamonds is you still have to manually mine all of them. And let's be honest, if I was to manually go into all of these mines and start using my pick, it would take me hours, maybe even days. And that's exactly why we are going to craft the first and final diamond cannon inside of Minecraft. In the last episode to mine diamonds very quickly, we had a diamond drill, which you could drive around and literally just mine diamonds. But the diamond cannon is an upgrade from that. And let me show you how it works. Cannon core goes with a cannon ball, and then you have the diamond cannon, ladies and gentlemen. This thing looks absolutely ridiculous, and I love it. This is the most effective way to get rich inside of Minecraft in the shortest amount of time possible. You can just spam the left click, and as you can see, cannonballs are firing out of our cannon. This is so cool. Every time you hit a valuable resource, it automatically gets put inside of your inventory, so you don't even have to go 
near it to scoop it up. Okay, I did not want to test this on animals, but I feel like we have to for science. Oh no! Okay, it actually doesn't do a lot of damage to animals, but it does set them on fire. I'm sorry, Piggy. I'm sorry, Piggy. I'm testing it for science. Please don't be mad at me. The unfortunate thing about the cannon is it is kind of slow, but you can still use it to go straight down. You just keep going. Look at this. Boom, 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 boom. Ladies and gentlemen, don't forget to click either one of these YouTube videos that YouTube is recommending to you right now if you want to keep watching my videos. Thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful, fun, safe, and blessed day. Take care, everybody, and I'll see you all in my next video.